I'm going to be talking about how you can get uh, data science, data engineering or quant job in Europe. For not from Europe, you are from Asia, uh, you're from Africa or other uh, different countries. You want to come to Europe and you want to work here. I'd like to talk about that because I have uh, been able to move from India to UK and then from UK to the Netherlands and I'm going to be talking about that so please watch till the end if you have questions please ask me you can write to me you can email me or you can ask the question uh, in the comment section of this video you need to ask yourself whether you are really interested to move to the Europe or not because there are other places also you can get good, good jobs for example in Canada or in Australia or in Singapore Hong Kong Dubai you can get very lucrative jobs in those places but there's something about Europe that uh, you cannot find in many other places for example you can travel to many other countries nearby countries uh, here in the Europe work-life balance is better of course uh, you have uh, demerits as well for example high taxes cost of living is also very high so these are some of the factors that you need to take into account before deciding whether you want to move to the Europe or not but if you are interested to move to the Europe the first thing I would like to tell you is that you can definitely get uh, get a job um, if you are from India or from Pakistan or from African countries. Uh, you definitely can get a job in Europe, uh, in Netherlands, in Germany, in France, uh, in Nordic countries such as Norway, Finland, Denmark, in those countries. Normally it is thought that if you do not have a degree from these countries, you will not be accepted. You will not be shortlisted for an interview. There is another misconception which is that you need to know the language first, you need to know the local language, uh, you need to know French you, if you are applying in France, if you, you need to know German if you are applying in Germany or Dutch in, in Netherlands. To some extent that is actually right. But there are many jobs, especially in the IT sector, especially in the tech sector, IT or finance in those areas, you are not expected to speak and write the local language although in long term it really does help if you know the language if you know the local language it does help a lot to communicate with people to be considered for some of the positions where you need to be bilingual but it does not mean that for every single job uh, you are required to know the language and it differs uh, across the countries for example the requirement for for local language is more in France compared to say in Germany and compared to Germany in Netherlands it is required less so that should also be uh, a criteria uh, based on which you should select which country you should apply in and so how to apply uh, directly reach out to people in uh, in various places for example in LinkedIn but you can also uh, reach out to people via other platforms but LinkedIn is the best platform in my view the most popular platform these days for professional networking so have a very good profile over there and if you're already working in some of the multinational firms in offshore uh, you have a very good reputation you need not have an educational degree from a developed country from a European country to be eligible for jobs in Europe that's not actually quite right although it really helps if you have a degree your chances of getting a job here is somewhat better but there are many examples of people moving from India to the Netherlands from Pakistan to Netherlands from these countries to other European countries as well especially in the tech sector but you know this is applicable to other sectors also for example in manufacturing or in research uh, in postdocs and those kind of jobs but I'm talking more about uh, the IT sector, the tech sector, in particular about data science and data engineering jobs or quantitative research jobs. If you have a couple of years of experience, at least three to four years of experience, uh, you should directly reach out to employers hiring uh, in these uh, countries. Uh, the best, uh, uh, the most efficient one is to uh, reach out to the the headhunters actually just send them the CV because they have an incentive to place you right because if they are able to uh, place you in some company 
then they will get money from that company so they have an incentive so reach out to them talk to them directly give them a call have a very good cv uh, do some research about the cv structure in the europe it's somewhat different from what we have in india and other uh, non european countries including you know the north american countries the uh, the way you write your cv is somewhat different make sure you adhere to that and then uh, you know try to do a bit of research about the job and the company that uh, you will be interviewed for because in this part of the world uh, quad is not just uh, your skills and qualification what matters is also your uh, uh, whether you fit in this culture or not so good to know the local culture the way of working and all that stuff for example in many european countries um it's less hierarchical and you must know that so if you if you ask some of these behavioral questions how you will respond to questions or challenges from uh, people who are uh, at higher level uh, think your answer should be yes uh i will be challenging if i have a point to prove so that really shows that you are resilient you can work uh, in these areas and you will not submit to something because someone at higher level is talking to you and you know that's you don't think is correct okay the other things also you must do research for example about uh, the salary range often times what happens is that when the higher from the developing countries the asian or african countries they tend to pay lower actually uh, but that shouldn't be the case do a bit of research on glassdoor or linkedin about the average pay and just ask for that kind of salary other than linkedin actually you can uh, also have a profile in some of the local employment uh, websites popular ones the indeed and then you have for finance or quant jobs your e financial career uh these are some of these sites there are other sites also do a bit of research on uh, google and have a profile there you never know who will contact you just have a phone number have your cv and email id you know you could be uh, contacted by someone if you already know people working here your friends uh, or friends of your friends then that's the best route right so somebody if you can refer you some in this in these companies then uh, your chances of getting uh, a call is actually uh, much more so try to connect with your friends and and friends of the friends of any family member you have working in europe already that always helps uh, in many ways so these are some of the uh, tips i wanted to share with you if you have questions please let me know i'll be happy to answer i'll happy to connect if you want any advice or any help in this regard i'll be willing to uh, provide that uh, please comment in the uh, comment section if you have questions thank you